Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gifts Since 92. We're giving you guys the latest and exclusive on content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me. Queen's back at it again. So I just got listening to Donna Jane's new single, um, 1501. Um, so Donna Jane has been releasing music left and right. Um, she's really talented and we already know who she is. Um, like I said, as a solo artist, I do like her music. I feel like, you know, she has like that talent. Um, her music is original. And with that being said, this record is a pretty dope record. I really like it. Um, Diane Jane, she is pretty much like her music is more like in the R&B and in the pop. And also, like I said, you know, her music has a lot of different genres. But I feel like Diana Jane really making R&B music is really good. It's authentic. And really, you know, she's the real deal. And it's good to hear different artists tapping, tapping into the R&B um, sound. And like I say, you know, if it's good, it's really good. Um, I feel like Don Jane, she's coming to her own as an artist. Um, I feel like, you know, she is perfecting her craft and she's pretty much, you know, putting in the work when it comes to like putting out music that represents her. Um, I can tell that, like I said, you know, her talent speaks for herself and her musical influences. I feel like, you know, Don Jane, when I listen to her music, um, they remind me of like the artists that I grew up with. But with that being said, you know, Diana Jane can only be Diana Jane. Um, but it's a good thing because, like I said, you know, I can tell that, you know, she has a lot of passion for music. And her music has more of like that R&B soul vibe. But at the same time, you know, she sets trends when it comes to like, you know, keeping moving pace with like the new current of music. Um, and if and also with this record 15 on 1, it's more of a sensual, sexy record. So it's pretty much like Diane Jane, you know, she's really coming to like a lot of her own as a woman. And what I love about this record is that her voice is very like hypnotizing. And she really, when she's singing, it has like that sultry kind of vibe. And remind me of a particular artist that I grew up with. But I feel like this is Diane Jane's moment and I don't want to be like, you know, be real disrespectful because I feel like every artist, like I said, when they come out with like, you know, especially new artists, um, when they come out with their, you know, own original material, like I said, people will have the comparisons, but I feel like also, you know, it's good to know and recognize those musical influences, but at the same time, allow them to become who they are and who they're destined, destined to be as their own artists. But I feel like listening to this record is so refreshing. And she really has her own like musical ear because I feel like listening to this record, it gives me more of like that, you know, appeal of like that magic, that thrill. But at the same time, listening to this record is kind of like, kind of reminds me more of like the 90s kind of vibe of R&B. But at the same time, it does give me like more of like that today's modern nostalgia twist. Um, I feel like even listening to a record like 1501, like I said, she's pretty much, like I said, coming to her own as an artist. Where when it comes to R&B music, and especially R&B music, and I know people have been having their debates about the genre for a long time. Because like I said, I am also missing that soul and that feeling. But Dinah Jane, she makes up for it. But she also, like I said, this record right here is more of a reminisce of how R&B is supposed to sound. How it's supposed to feel. And really that magic and really that touch and really more like that nostalgia where R&B before, like I said, it was dominating like for years. Um, there was an era and a period, period where R&B artists were able to dominate and even cross over um, with their music. Um, especially from the underground to the mainstream music. Um, also, you know, crossing over to R&B and crossing over to pop. And also R&B was more... It was really dominating the pop charts as well back in the day. So I feel like the same thing is going to happen again. But I feel like Don Jane, she really makes a statement with this record. And I feel like her, you know, the sound in R&B for her is really authentic. So whoever she's working with, the producers, they're doing a great job making sure that they create a sound that really suits for her and her artistry. And like I said, you know, it lives up to it. But with that being said, I feel like Donna Jane, she did really did a great job with this record. I love it. Um, and I look forward to listening to new music, new material from her. I look forward for her debut album because I feel like she does have a place in music. So with that being said, guys.
please um, do not be afraid to um, let me know your thoughts and your opinions of this record. Um, Don Jane fans, let me know down below your thoughts and your opinions. I give this record a 5 out of 5. So with that being said, please do not be afraid to like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Please do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Please do not be afraid to hit that notification button. And as always, stay tuned on the next episode of Get Since Night 2. Dragon Ball Z, narrated reference. Peace, bye-bye. You guys exiting out. The Super Saiyan is out.